Welcome back to the void, everyone. And what we're gonna do today is install Miner Stat OS. Uh, this is an alternative to Hive OS, Ubuntu, Windows. Um, it's something I'm just gonna experiment with today. I actually have only ever set this up once before, but this is my install guide on how to do that. So what we're gonna do is follow a guide here that I actually enjoy. Uh, it's super straightforward for everybody to you know follow. Um, but I'll just kind of go through it and the steps to actually do it. So I'll put this link down in the description below, but uh, all you need to do is follow the steps here, uh, download the uh, actual Miner Stat OS, and get something like uh, Belena Etcher. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use Belena Etcher, uh, which you can kind of see here, such as Etcher. Um, I've already downloaded this, I've already installed uh, Etcher, I've already got the image file, so I'm gonna go ahead and just activate that now to the USB. So what we're gonna do is flash from a file. I've got the USB plugged in. I'm gonna pick the image here, select my target, which in this case is gonna be my USB device, select and flash. Uh, it will pop up a Windows prompt because Windows is Windows and it will go ahead and flash that. So uh, all in all, this is a pretty easy process. Um, we're gonna just basically flash it. Um, what you're gonna do next is add a worker to Minerstat. So when you actually go to the Minerstat website, which I will do right now, so Minerstat. Dot com. Uh, you will actually log in, and as you do this, uh, set up your account, it will ask, ask you to build a worker. And so I've already gone ahead and done that, um, which I will show later on after this is done flashing and whatnot. But you'll go ahead and put in like the type of cards you use. Is it ASIC? Um, you, are you going to use the native MSOS, Windows, whatnot? You basically get an alert that says your, your worker is offline. And then you'll want to get this config file. Now, the config file is very important because that's what makes your miner work. Um, it gives you an access key, gives you your worker name, and uh, then you save that file to your hard drive, and you use that in the setup. You basically then take this USB drive that we're creating, plug the USB drive into your mining rig, and uh, you can launch it from the... Uh, USB drive and run like that or you can actually install it to an SSD if you want. I'm just going to run it from the USB. So um, yeah, anyway, I'll show you what that looks like after we plug that in here in a second. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and configure Minerstat. Um, I went to Minerstat.com and what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and register with an email address. I went ahead and skipped all that. It's going to ask you some questions. It'll send you confirmation email. You don't, I don't need to show you all that. But what you're presented with is when you log in is this page, the workers page, uh, where you define what kind of workers you have. Are you using NVIDIA cards, AMD cards, ASICs? Uh, in this particular case, I'm gonna be using AMD cards. And so you just go ahead and click on AMD cards. And the previous USB that we created was the Miner Stat OS USB. So we're gonna go ahead and take that and click on USB. And this can also be installed on an SSD too. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna call it worker 007. Let's do that. That sounds like a fun name. So, you know that config file that I was talking about a little bit ago that you need to take and put onto the USB before you go ahead and plug it in is right here. All you do is go ahead and hit download. It will download the file to your computer and you send it over to the USB and the USB is now complete. You do not have to do anything else to the USB. It is done. And your worker is also complete at the same time. So what you need to do here next is we need to configure our addresses, our pools, um, you know, our settings for our GPUs, whatnot. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on address editor in this case. Uh, so I'm gonna do, uh, let's just do EU ether mine. So you just go ahead and put that in there and you save it. And then in this case, I'm doing a dual mining setup with ton so i'm gonna go ahead and put in a ton pool as well it's pretty straightforward to add pools and then right at the top here you'll also want to do your wallet config so i need to put in my wallet 
config for my ETH, which is right here. And I will go ahead and put in my ton cool, ton, ton cool, ton coin <laughs> uh, wallet ID. So go ahead and drop that in there. Oh, and I already created this, so uh, I don't have to do it, but you can see it down here. Okay. So then what we need to do after we've done our wallets here is go ahead and create our profiles for our GPUs. So I picked AMD GPUs. So you can see that AMD GPUs are unblocked here. Um, NVIDIA is still blocked because I have no workers that are on NVIDIA. So why show me the settings? Uh, you can fill it from a database if you want um, where you pick the graphics card. So like if I was one of 6800 XT, these are the settings that they would have provided me. Um, but what I'm going to actually use is something similar, but a little bit lower. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just, I'll, I'll apply these values for now, but, uh, I'm going to take 1800 as the core. I'm just going to remove the core voltage because we're doing ETH and ton. You need, you need, uh, no limiters really. And the power limit, I'm going to do 190 because again, you need more power. These take about 170. So we're really going to just be maxing it out. Skip the memory, uh, just remove the v, you know, VDVCI, remove that, and then the memory is good. Okay, so the fan speed, I'm actually going to up that to 75 just because I like my cards to run a little cooler. And then all you need to do is name your profile. So in this case, I'm going to call this 6800XT. Uh, we'll just call it that, yeah, and that's good enough. And then you hit apply. And done. It's uh, your profile is created for your graphics card. So if you click on clock tune again, you can see now that I have a profile here and uh, it should be good to mine. So what we're going to do is actually take that profile and apply it to the worker. So the worker 007, which is auto populated because it knows about your workers, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and just pick the client that you need. In this case, I'm going to use LOL miner. Uh, you have options to pick a lot of different miners. Uh, in this case, LOL miners, Ethan Ton for me. So I'll go ahead and click that. And because the way MSOS does some of the newer dual ETH mine stuff, you actually have to do advanced because the JSON function does not work. So uh, for specific kinds of mining. So in this case, I'm just going to do advanced and paste this in here. Now, what this is basically doing is referencing uh, my wallets my pools uh, with variables and stuff. That's the nice thing I like about MSOS is you don't have to actually tell it, you know, your command line arguments straight up. It will just pull it as long as it's named the same in the previous pages that we created. Uh, I actually prefer 1.43 in this case for now, um, just because uh, it seems to be a little bit more stable, uh, even though 1.45 and 1.46 uh, have some stability increases. It, it, this one just seems to work for my rig. So, And you can always just pick latest available, by the way. So that way it's always just up to date with the newest whatever. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And done. Okay, so worker is now done. Uh, if I go back here, worker 7 is offline, obviously, and doesn't it doesn't show connected, right? Um, that's pretty much all you need to do in here. Now, there are other functions that you can use, um, like the mining calculator. So if you wanna click on that and go take a look at like GPU mining, for example, uh, you can go ahead and see that there's a pre-built set of cards that will just tell you like, hey, this is the most profitable uh, you know, card. This is the way that you wanna mine it with you know, this particular pool or whatever. Um, and that's how or this is this is kind of nice. Uh, I, I still prefer uh, sites like uh, hashrate.no um, And the reason for that is because it has You know the most popular coins for the most part and then you can actually see what is the most profitable version of it And if you want to click on the 6800 XT for example It will say that that you make about three dollars and 28 cents a day right now with the card it tells you your ROI and it actually, if you click on that coin, will actually just tell you some base settings. And this is a good starting point. You can obviously go higher or lower. Um, I kind of already dialed this in for myself. And uh, this is just kind of what I went with. I went a little higher on the memory, but that's about it. So, you know, all in all, that's, that's all you have to do. Now you just take the USB, you give your mining rig internet connectivity and plug it in and you should be good. 
Now you can do other things in here too, and I'll show you one of the rigs that I have running already, which is uh, this one right here. And this rig basically, um, you know, has been running for a while. Um, tells you how much you like make per month potentially. Obviously, this fluctuates <laughs> minute by minute. Um, what I will say about this is I actually really enjoy this dashboard a lot more than some of the other dashboards because if you go ahead and you click into uh, your worker, for example, the, the stats that come out of it are really nice. It tells you like your uptime, your efficiency, how many GPUs, just like all in a very clean dashboard. What's your estimated daily earnings on the coins you're mining? Um, obviously, it gives you all the standard statistics like how much uh, you're going to make per coin per month. Um, what pools you're mining to tells you, you know, what cards you have, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, I really, really like how Minerstat laid this out. Um, you know, I think that other ones like HiveOS and stuff are still clean and they're still good. They're perfectly valid. Um, you know, I, I just like, I really like this one a lot. Now, the one thing I will say is I am, I'm putting this rig on a BTC, uh, D37 motherboard. And that Celeron processor is so old, this runs on Ubuntu. And so it, the boot time is horrendous. Uh, we are we're talking a solid seven minutes plus <laughs> to, to get the rig online. So hopefully it just stays online. And I will say that the rig has been online for, well, probably a couple weeks now and been doing just fine. So anyway, that's how you go ahead and configure Minerstat OS. And uh, I'll just kind of show you uh, a little bit about the hash rates and whatnot and just like how, how the screen looks here in a second and um, you know just how it operates so we'll get into that here so how are we doing on the hash rates well we're getting about what we expected I am a little low on the ton coin I'm only getting two giga hash uh, which is probably where it should you know not be it should be like 2.5 I, I need to probably increase my core clocks so what I did for core clocks was uh, 1470 on the core, uh, 1000 on the memory, and then I also set the power limiter to uh, 900. I probably need to up that too, but I am also getting 58.4 uh, mega hashes per card uh, on Ethereum, so that's great. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. If you could go ahead and like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the notification bell. It helps me out, obviously, for that YouTube algorithm. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the links to everything I used in this particular video down below. So if you want to get to those, um, that's you know that'll be there for you. And as always, I hope you have a good day, and I'll catch you in the void next time. Thank you.